guys how are you um my name is Utandum Gunezi for those of you who do not know me and for the returners welcome back to the channel you guys thank you so much for the continued support um, today I will be doing a story time on giving birth at a public hospital so yeah let's get right into it um, my doctor told me that I will be due on the 5th of May and kudos to the doctor you guys so on the 4th of May 2016 um, I remember it was around uh, 4 a.m. I started getting like a discomforting feeling around my abdomen and I thought oh no there it is and I hadn't been sleeping for days so I was just like God can this be it because really really I'm tired now you know nine months is a long time magazine for those of you who do not know nine months is a long time yalla so yeah um, and then at around 5 I woke up my mom I was just like um, from 4 a.m. I haven't been sleeping this thing is just it's worse than normal period pains and plus you guys I don't get like period pains like any severe period pains my period pains are always minor um, so like I didn't know what to expect so yeah um, I told my mom and my mom is like stay or stay my sister and my mom is just like say vuga yeah so yeah and then my, my, my mom was just like okay maybe um you can sleep for a while and then let's see what happens and i'm like okay and then she's like um vuse no six okay fine i i go to the bathroom and then around six half past six i go to the bathroom and i look oh no there's traces of blood so a friend of mine had told me that before and so i was like oh my gosh i'm really giving birth so yeah i told my mom and my mom was just like i now it's time to go have a bath let's go and so we went and we got into the we got it to the clinic and we told them Hori, you know uh, this is what's happening this is what has happened so they sent me to the um, um, uh, nurses rooms and they like checked and found out that I was um, two centimeters in active labor so I was just like oh two centimeters from 4 a.m. and it's like 8 a.m. so this means I will give birth like around you know sometime tonight and my mom had told me that she took long with her normal um, you know births which was Uste and myself and so she was like you know these things sometimes are genetic so you guys should expect that you will be in labor for a long time and so I did expect that so I was just like okay maybe tonight or maybe like midnight okay fine and then they do tests on me and then they find out that um, the, at this time I'm at the clinic um, at the public clinic um, at my location so yeah and then they you know they do tests on me and then they find out that my BP is too high for them to take a chance on you know me doing the natural birth at the clinic so I should go to the hospital and so they called an ambulance and the ambulance came um, it was about nine when they told me that I need to go to the hospital and the ambulance came at like 11 <coughs> yeah 11 the ambulance was there um, and then the ambulance guys first strolled around um, the hospital um, updating each other and their friends about what happened in their lives like there was no sense of urgency at all it was just like so whatever whatever okay and then i was just like 
oh it's fine at that time you know the contractions are not bad it's like if they come I can just walk around and they still like around like 10 minutes apart so it's just like let me walk around and then I sit and then it starts again so it's not that bad I can still like laugh and talk my mom is there the whole time and then she's like she called her friend she's like oh I was on Klali Salana Yabona Nan so she stays there and then the ambulance guys finally decide that we can go okay um so we go sorry guys i keep blinking my eyes um i i don't know if you guys can see but this eye is inflammated so things keep coming out and it's just like i don't know if inflammated is the right word but um you know i don't know what nishan is in english i've got that and now i think things are coming out and it's like keeps going into my eyes so it's really irritating so yeah anyway ambulance guys decide now it's time to go guess what is the first thing ambulance guy asks me he's like why didn't you do your hair and he's so serious i'm like do my hair he's like he's like yes why didn't you do your hair i'm like I, listen i don't have time for hair okay and he's just like um okay but do you know that if you go and give birth you do your hair because you're gonna come back with the child and your hair is gonna be a mess and i'm just like dude like i couldn't care less right now okay and my mom is just looking at him like oh and then this one why and yeah so i get into the ambulance um in the ambulance i'm the only one who's you know on the bed the the other guys are sitting um next to me guys mina i got first class treatment from the red go <laughs> oh my goodness so yeah this one girl shame she had like her baby had died so she was just going to push the baby and then the other one um i think her bp was also too high but it wasn't her she wasn't in labor yet so that's why they were sitting next to me and i was on the bed so i was on the oh and then they told me take off your underwear um if you in labor and you get into this ambulance you do not wear underwear i'm like oh are you serious he's like yes dude if you give birth while we're on our way you mean i must start taking off your underwear first no you take out your underwear now so i'm like yo i look at my mom and i'm just like girl but why did you stop working look now and i take off my underwear so yeah i was in the bed and we traveled all the way from guamsane to guasabisa <coughs> down deep in the bundles you guys that's where i went so yeah <laughs> so we get to the hospital right and then ambulance guy is like taking our files to the nurses and then they look and they asked me how long have I been in labor I'm like since 4 a.m. this morning and they're like when you left the clinic how uh, far were you I'm like I was two centimeters and she's like let me check so I hop onto a bed the nurse checks me now hospital nurse checks me she checks me she's like oh no you're still at two centimeters I'm like, what she's like yes you're still at two centimeters i'm like goodness <gasps> okay so this he, she's just like sit there i'll register you for you to find a bed i'm like okay and i go and sit and you know the contractions are still coming but they're still far apart so i'm just doing that whole thing of walking again and you know i walk 
at that time i don't think I, I even put back my underwear i don't remember putting back my underwear honestly now that i think about it i do not remember putting back my underwear so i just walked i walked and i walked and i would want to go to the loo and the nurses would just be like no you're still far apart you can go but don't push the baby I'm like okay so yeah nurses say you can go and i go and then i come back and they have registered me and around was it around four or five o'clock then i got a bed i got a bed and i was in this ward with um other people who were waiting um to give birth and some of them had given birth so i don't know what i was doing in that ward but i was there now guys the contractions i they were not the same as when we began the contractions were like no too much yeah so while i was waiting i texted like when, when i was waiting at the clinic i texted the baby daddy i'm like okay i'm i'm in labor but please do not call me because things are the damn yeah and i'll cry um and i texted my friends the close friends i'm like guys i'm in labor and my stepmom and she's like okay i'm praying see see yeah and jay everyone close i texted and yeah so people are calling has the baby arrived they are texting has the baby arrived i'm like guys baby is nowhere to be seen i'm still at two centimeters so another nurse comes in because i was crying hilariously crying and oh my mom and my aunt came to see me around visiting hours which is like six and so when they came i just i cried because i was just like mama lenga nice pull me guni ngkalili ngizu flung so like said inga nice pull i and my mom is just like i need to buy a check inga no go see right it's a minute eh eh let's see shoot it right take inga ne unga kali and then when she said unga kali i was just like i sobbed and i just cried okay so they left and then after that i ate the food the food i was just like i was so anxious about the food because everyone says yo there was a special and especially public hospital i was just like yo the food must be bad but the food came guys and it wasn't bad yes honestly i remember it was like kira sheni nesopolata matisi and pap it wasn't bad yeah so i ate that and then they told me not to take any pills i was just like these people have no idea the pain that i'm feeling right now so i took a panado i'm like panado is not harmful i took a panado and i drank it and then i slept around 11 hi no 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 these contractions now they're waking me up from sleep it's not funny anymore i'm just like no so i wake up and i walk around the the, the what do you call this the ward i walk around and i'm just walking around and people are just looking at me and they're like feeling feeling you know sorry for me i think it's because i did look different i did look like i didn't belong there like i did look like a medical aid baby <laughs> guys my mom had cancelled her medical aid like six months prior to that i had always been a medical aid baby and i think everyone could see that i'm a medical aid baby so yeah i, I walked around and around midnight i was just like no 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 no, no. i can't take this and i went to the nurses i went out of the ward i went to where the nurses were sitting i was like please come and check because these contractions are not funny anymore and i cannot take it so this nurse is like yes and she's so irritated she's like i'm like this girl okay fine and then but she does she comes anyway and then she was like, what do you mean? <laughs> hey, you guys. And 
then she's like inserts her fingers and she's like I'm going to go to Kalila and go to South 3 centimeters. I'm going to go to Bangal and see the dog. I think it's going to be a lot of water. I'm going to go to the And then I'm like, no, it's fine. I'll go. I take my bags. What's left of them because they take your bags and put them away. So you have like a small handbag and like a small blanket. Okay, fine. I take my bags. I go to labor. What? I get to labor what guys i'm told to sit on a chair that time i left the bed i'm told to sit on the chair so the nurse is telling the sister in charge that this one <laughs> you guys have no idea okay so um i get to the labor ward and that's it it's a chair and nothing else so i'm like around 4 a.m i'm like no man girl you can do better okay so i'm like i'm gonna search for a bed and when i find the bed i'm gonna sleep so i look at the next ward and what do i see an empty bed and i sleep <laughs> the next thing i hear is hey don't be Um, and then the owner of the bed comes so the nurse is like get out of the bed the owner is here okay so the owner comes and I'm like okay and I get off the bed and I start eating because I think I had like one hour of sleep so I was feeling much better so yeah I start eating sitting back at the chairs again and yeah so at around seven a nurse comes and checks me again she's like you are at four centimeters now this is seven in the morning guys so we are already past full day okay and i am four centimeters do you understand four centimeters so she's like oh understand ah so i get off and i walk and i walk and i walk and then i don't know what happened so i'm i'm just like oh i, I think somebody asked like why am i do i keep walking up and down and whatnot um and i'm like no what's it like my contractions not as i can call much but how I'm like, yo, okay. And so my nurse for the day, Shane, finally arrives. Okay, she was there like since in the morning, but she she's like, okay, I'm gonna take care of you now. Hop onto the bed. And I, I go onto the bed and she checks. She's like, you're still four centimeters. And this is around, I think it was nine. She's like, you're still four centimeters. I'm like, goodness. Oh no, God. Help me. Like, okay. And then she's like, I'm gonna, like, um, I don't know what you call it but she's like she's gonna burst my water because my water hadn't broke yet <clears throat> so she burst my water and that lady did not like me because after she burst that water it was just 
worse the pains got worse i just i couldn't take it anymore i think the bp just went higher even because i was just like heating up and i, I asked them but see yeah in that from aircon as an aircon sis and then at some point they asked me what's on a guy i'm like i'm 22 they're like okay i'm going to go in gane in gane in gane in gane i'm now i can't when i'm just we are telling her when we are telling her looking at you we are telling her the pay i'm like because this is for me medical aid oh boy i'm going to add in seen on one it's a minute being on shall i am sad I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to i to to I'm like, hey. These nurses. And then the sister is in charge. The sister in charge is just like, yeah, hey. My goodness, the lady, she didn't like me. She's like, yeah, the lady, and the piss. Oh, what is it, boy? That's how I got the lady. And then she's just like on her desk and she's sitting. And then time, time goes by, guys. So they're busy putting me on that belt thingy and machine and i'm just i just keep moving and they shouting at me and they hitting my thighs yes the hitting your thighs story is real they're just doing anything and everything to try and you know and honestly at some point i had just like given up i was just like dear god you can save me um like right now whatever happens to the child happens but please save me because I can always have another child, but the child cannot have another mother. Yo, so, that time the contractions are like so bad, and these people are just not giving me a good time. And at the time, I was like the only one left. All the people I had arrived with had given birth, like all of them. It was just Mina who was left. And the doctors were coming in and out. <coughs> Excuse me. The doctors were coming in and out. The nurses in and out. And so were their fingers. And you know, it was just like... It wasn't nice. And then, guys, oh my gosh. Like, this is where I wish I could insert like a slow-mo. And then, guys, my mom walked in. Yo, guys, I wish I could just insert her going like, even though she wasn't walking like that. But I just wish I could because my mom saved the day, guys. She was the woman who saved the day. So my mom comes in. Apparently, this I hear after I was in labor when I actually got home. Um, you know, visitors are not allowed to go in towards. But guys, my mom, my mom, she went in. She went in, she, it was her, and it was my sister. That time, my sister is heavily pregnant. She cannot stand all this drama. But she comes in anyway. And I see my mom come in. And I'm like, Mama, what are you And she's like, Eh, na, mana, puna me mis. Yindaba, ingana ipu. Can say, I pum na manch. And she's like, okay, man, she was supposed to It's a buffalo who needs a theater, but a theater go to Mutungobo Nestingo, Minasaka, Vicky Sting of me. Kanjani, who guys, I was so like, I was just like, how though? Cause like I've been in labor for so long and I, I feel drained and I'm sure the child is also drained now. Yo and then I started crying. I was just like mama Yo guys like I'm getting emotional even thinking about it now. It's like mama for 
and my mom is just like, it's appealing gun. It's appealing gun. Now it's appealing foot. And then, yeah, so I don't know. I think they just saw that my mom is just this learned person who's going to sue them. Because all of a sudden, sister in charge stood up. And she was the one checking me now. Doctors were coming in every half an hour. And then, guys, my mom, I promise you, my mom is, yay, my mom was the savior of the tea. So, my mom, I don't know, I think that sister in charge must have known my mom from somewhere, I don't know. But she, she respected my mom. So, guys, something very unusual happened to me. I got an epidura. Imagine. Public hospital. Mina, I got it. Epidura. My mom, she came there and they were like, no, this one. She's Leonard. They're going to give the her child a epidura. So they gave me an epidural. And then around um, three, one of the doctors came in and he looked at my progress he asked the nurses what do you feel and the nurses said seven centimeters and then he did it himself and he's like i still can't feel anything above five and he's like put the machine on back again so they put the machine on back he puts he inserts his um like finger and then he's like the child is getting tired and she's also getting tired so Imagine CC section. I'm like, yes! Ah, yes! And you say, how? Get bonga. I got to get some new at the end. But I have such a chapulak. And you say, how? Eh, good evening, Celestia. Come in, busy in total. Bess on yes and jet the end. But so we have to come nandy at the end. I mean, it was a pose of Paul. Was as a shell and a less better long I can. Oh, go away as a little joy, but it's hell. It's been a pretty total thing and it's all a casual. How? Hey guys, I was such a blabber mouth. I wouldn't keep quiet. Like, NJ, no. And then they were like, they remembered that I had eaten, like, even during the labor because, like, food, guys, has always been my coping mechanism. So I had been drinking some juice and I think I had a banana. So the nurse was like, oh no, she's been eating. So you need to clean her first. And then I don't know what they did. But they made me sign a form. They made me sign a form. And then it was just, everyone was just running around. They took me to the um, theater. And I got there. They said, sit. They did the injection. And then after the injection, they like, you're not allowed to sleep. And the epidural guys makes you want to sleep. So they're like, you're not allowed to sleep. So I didn't sleep. And they were talking to me and they were asking me questions so I wouldn't sleep and your face gets itchy during um, I don't know whether it's the injection or what but your face gets itchy so I'm like and then the doctor is just like the same doctor who said I must go to emergency section he's like no I'm gonna scratch your face it's totally normal and he made me sing and guess what guys when it was time to do the actual operation these young girls, almost my age, are just like, guys, Ubanas or Siga. I'm like, are they talking about cutting me? And I'm like, Ubanas or Siga, guys, I'll do it. I'll do it. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Hi, guys. But I was just like, you know, whatever happens, God, everything is Isigwe and Amanje. I trust you. If this baby is meant to live, it's okay. And so the students cut again. Yeah. So I'm like, no, but guys, I can feel you cutting. And they're like, can you feel the pain? I'm like, no, I can't feel the pain. They're like, no, yeah, you are supposed to feel us cutting, but you're just not allowed. You you're just not supposed to feel the pain. I'm like, okay, that's that's good. And so um, they cut, and guys, my baby had been longing to come out so much that she cried before they even took her out and then everyone was just like how oh, lona okala singa kam keep no keep her 
and then the next thing I hear a baby is crying and then so quick they take the baby through another door I'm like oh they they bring the baby in front of my face they're like it's a girl can you see I'm like yes and then fuck they take the baby they go into another door I'm like okay I didn't even see the way coming in here so I'm like need something they're like no I'm like okay and then yeah um, I go into this they stitch up and then I go into this other cold room apparently they're supposed to monitor my bleeding and for the first time I felt how it's like to be paralyzed guys it's not nice I, I felt it that day it was just it's not nice you can't move you can't do anything I asked the nurse please move me to the side she's like she, she moves me I'm like no please move me back um, to the position that I was in and she was like yes it's waiting because I don't know kids and I'm going to kids hey 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 I'm going to get cut to sing a show like a big as a little gag with two people and then um, I think I stayed there for like an hour and then they took me and my mom and my sister were waiting outside and they told me see Bonnie Lingane and then they went um, and then they took me to the ward and then my mom and my sister came with me to the ward and they came back they gave me the baby and then the nurse was like to my mom she's gonna sleep anytime from now um, but yeah there is the baby and then yeah, my baby was just next to me and then my mom was just like say hamba, say kai, sinoste and then they left me and I think it was around four PM when I gave birth to little Spani. Um yeah and then I woke up at like eight and I could feel my legs again and I wanted the first thing that I wanted to do was to brush my teeth my mouth was feeling awful I just wanted to brush my teeth and I asked the nurse can will I be able to go brush my teeth he's like I don't know if you if you feel like you can get up then try and get up and I got up and I didn't get far I do not remember getting far as brushing my teeth um, yeah and I just I came back and I slept and I was told to feed the child and I fed the child but I was just so relieved guys that the child was there and after that like I won't lie I could extend but the video is now too long I won't lie I got like good treatment I was in intensive care until I left um, and oh this I remember this when I was like um, they're like no we're still preparing your bed it's not even your bed okay <laughs> i'm like oh okay so yeah so yeah um i was in that um uh room with those people and i got to hear their stories um jay it was like a nice story the lady next to me had lost her child and she kept wanting to hold my daughter and i was just like e -e -e. i hope she's not planning on stealing my daughter and there was a blind girl shame she couldn't feed her daughter um because she couldn't see if you know she was suffocating him with her breast that was very sad and yeah you know the nurse oh the nurse who was um, doing the day shift at the intensive care unit um, in fact the two nurses were um, from Guamsan so apparently they knew my mom and they knew who I was so I also got like good treatment there um, yeah and overall it was a great experience you would wake up in the morning and go bath there was hot water guys believe it or not 
there was hot water the toilets were flushing all the time the the wards were clean if you bled or because we had pipes inserted uh if you bled or you like you peed on yourself after they took out the pipe somebody would come in i swear in like not more than 10 minutes and wipe it off um it just had that medical smell but there was nothing there was nothing totally disgusting i do remember that it was very cold though um it was cold because luckily my mom bought like a big towel and i remember this one time Bunny was crying and i was just feeding her she wouldn't stop crying and the nurse was just like it was a male nurse and so yeah started i wrapped the child with the uh, towel and she was quiet so i knew okay it's very cold here um and yeah and then my my daughter was like so ugly at the time she was just like what's going on with this child um and apparently even the nurse said oh yeah <laughs> the nurse who had who who had said before i'm gonna take care of you now shame that nurse if i could thank her she was the one person who was patient with me like yo j that nurse that white doctor who took me to emergency section those two nurses at intensive care unit j you guys the bomb.com j guys it was um it was all in all a good experience a like I, I had far better than what i had expected and my baby finally came out healthy i was healthy i healed baby was fine so it wasn't that bad of an experience shape so public hospitals are not that bad you guys yeah so anyway thank you so much for watching the video um for getting this far for those of you who did because pella data we know the stories of data um yeah and this week's shout out goes to unofundo dube unofundo dube is my friend she has been supporting me shame umgani watching my videos with her boss's data so yeah thank you thank you so much umgani for you know keeping the girl going so yeah thank you so much you guys please do like the video subscribe if you haven't please um it's totally free subscribe to the video tell it to the channel subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below if if you had an experience at a public hospital and how was it and or if you have any other thing to say and yeah i love 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 you guys for tuning in Bye.